Hi, welcome to another video. So, just like most of you, I was living and breathing Claude 3.5 Sonnet for months. When it first dropped, it absolutely blew my mind. Nothing else at the time could read an entire React project, understand the tangled state logic, and then politely explain why your component was re-rendering itself into oblivion. Even today, Claude 3.5 still stands up against a lot of newer models, which is pretty wild if you think about how fast this field moves. But here's the part that always stung. Back then, Sonnet cost $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. On paper, those numbers look tiny. In practice, you can torch $20 in a single afternoon if you're doing heavy refactors or long debugging sessions. Anthropic tried to help with input token caching, so repeated prompts got a discount, but the output tokens, the stuff you actually need for answers, never budged. You ended up paying the full $15 every time the model opened its mouth. Meanwhile, the rest of the AI world started sprinting. Google rolled out Gemini 2.0, then 2.5 Pro, and it came in swinging with a million token context window, built-in image understanding, and most important for my wallet, way cheaper pricing. Under 200,000 tokens, Gemini charges around $1.25 for input and 10 bucks for output. If you somehow go above 200,000 tokens, honestly that's already the length of two or three novels, the price only doubles which still puts it on par with Sonnet's normal rate. Plus, Google throws in free credits through AI Studio, so you can mess around quite a bit before you ever see a bill. Now, Anthropic answered back with Claude 4 Sonnet and Claude 4 Opus. Sonnet kept the same token prices as the old one, but boosted reasoning and context to 200k. Opus cranked up the brains even more, but also cranked up the fee. $15 input, $75 output. That 75 number makes my eyes water. Unless you're on a flat subscription or your company's paying, that's a boatload of money for what often feels like maybe a 5 or 10% bump over the cheaper sonnet. And if you turn on extended thinking in Opus, every extra minute it spends pondering runs up more tokens at those same prices. I tried it once on a complex refactor, and the bill that came back looked like I'd rented cloud GPUs for a week. So these days, people keep asking which model I actually use. Short answer, Gemini 2.5 Pro 90% of the time. Long answer, let me break down why in normal words instead of marketing speak. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-40, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and five music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. First reason is simple math. For everyday coding and Q&A, Gemini costs about a third of Sonnet and a tiny fraction of Opus. When I'm experimenting, I like to iterate fast. Copy code, paste error logs, ask three follow-ups. So cost per token matters a lot. Gemini's implicit catching also chops 75% off repeated text automatically. I saw it in the logs. I pasted the same 2,000-line file twice by accident, and the second time Gemini build 
maybe a quarter of what Claude would have. That alone saves me more than the difference in headline prices. Second reason is context size. Claude's 200k window is generous, no doubt. But Gemini's full million is ridiculous. I've thrown an entire monorepo, plus the readme, plus a screenshot of the UI, plus user bug reports, plus a spec doc, and Gemini still answers in one go. With Claude, I'd be trimming and chunking or leaning on retrieval tools. Third reason is performance feel. Benchmarks say, Opus leads on certain coding tasks, and I won't argue. Opus can fix some subtle edge case bugs in one shot that make me slow clap. But Opus is also slower, and again, expensive. Sonnet is smoother than the old 3.5 version, but when I measure raw latency, Gemini usually starts and finishes its answer faster. In live work, speed matters. Waiting 20 seconds versus 5 for each answer adds up over a day. If Gemini misses a tiny detail, I just ask a follow-up and still spend less time and money overall. Fourth reason is the roadmap. Google already teased deep think mode for Gemini which will let you dial up longer reasoning runs without switching to a new product or pricing tier. They're also adding adjustable thinking budgets, basically asking, do you want cheap and quick or slow and thorough on any given call? That's huge. Anthropic has extended thinking right now, but it's locked behind the pricier opus. I'd bet once Deep Think arrives, Gemini will cover that gap and still stay cheaper. Now, to be fair, Claude has a vibe I still love. When I need a calm, essay-style explanation with perfect structure, Claude nails tone and clarity. Claude also exposes a chain-of-thought summary that shows you how it reasoned, if you enable that toggle, which is awesome for learning. And the new Claude code interface looks like VS Code in the browser with diff views and approvals, which feels slick. I still open Claude when I want a second opinion on a tricky algorithm, or if I need extended focus for, say, planning an entire microservice architecture. But that's maybe once or twice a week, not every hour. What about subscriptions? If you're paying Anthropic's flat monthly fee and you already love Claude, great, you're set. For everyone else, Students, hobby coders, Gemini just hurts less. You can do way more trial and error before you hit the red line. And because Gemini's context is five times larger, you spend less time engineering prompts to squeeze under a limit. That alone makes me happier. Let me give you a real example. Last week, I was updating my Kingbench app. I wanted to add a theme toggle refactor the CSS to CSS modules, and generate dark mode tokens. With Gemini, I pasted the whole repo plus my design tokens file, asked for a plan, and let it run. Total cost, maybe two bucks, done in about four minutes of wall time. I tried the same with Claude Force on it on a different branch. It needed multiple passes because we kept hitting the 200k limit. I had to chunk the CSS separately, which burned more tokens and more time. Final Claude cost, roughly $6. The code quality was similar. Gemini's first attempt missed one class name. Claude missed a TypeScript type. Net win to Gemini on both money and speed. All that said, I keep Opus bookmarked for marathon agent runs. If I need an AI to think for an hour straight, Simulate test cases, tweak code, run again. Opus stays coherent longer than anything else I've tried. But that's a once-a-month task for me, not my daily workflow. Paying $75 per million tokens just to write doc strings faster is overkill. So my final take is simple. If you're watching your budget, if you want the biggest context window, if you like the idea of dropping screenshots next to code, Go Gemini 2.5 Pro. Keep Claude Force on it in your toolbox for its calm explanations. 
and maybe spring for opus, only when you truly need those marathon brain cycles or you're on someone else's dime. For me, Gemini is the tab I open first. Claude is the tab I open when I need that extra sprinkle of professor-level polish. That's it for this one. Let me know what you're using down in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.